It's funny to hear. Uh, is it well the Obstein Helm? Um, well, you were saying that. Um, do you talk about well what what the album, uh, what the lyrics will be, what the concept will be? No, it's, I don't write any lyrics anymore. It's, it's Why? How come? Why not? Because Morton or uh, Thomas, mainly he's uh, he started doing that when he a little bit when he started, you know when he when he started in the band night one. Before that, it was like me and Frederick and and uh, since Thomas is so much better in English English language and you know grammar and all that, it's like you normally went over to his side. So and I'm happy for it and. Uh, Morton also writes, you know, lyrics every now and then. But I think you have to, well, to deliver them on on stage and on the album. Yeah. Um, do you talk about it then with them? That well, the feeling you want to put into, or the words that you want to use, or. Yeah, we kind of, when we record, you know, we talk a little bit, you know. And sometimes I, when I sing, also sometimes because he's not a singer, Thomas, so he used to write stuff, and he doesn't write a lyric to a song. He has the lyrics ready before we make the songs, okay. basically. Just a few maybe that's not ready. And then we, he tries to, or we try to fit, like this text maybe fit with that song, you think, you know? <laughs> Depending on how long it is and what kind of, if you want fast uh, singing or a more screamy, you know, what w would fit, you know, with words and all that, so. And sometimes when I record, it's like that word just doesn't work. Scream, you know, screaming at you. You have to find up a, another word, you know, for that. Do Do you have an example of word on no, the, on the on the previous really. album, maybe? No, not really. It's just it's a really complicated English. It's always, you know, it's hard to take a lyric and then just put it into a song. Yeah. It's always, you know, a lot of redoing and rewriting and taking away maybe four rows and try to make it understandable anyway, you know, and shorten it or making parts longer to fit to the music. It's a lot of work, you know. But I think you have to agree on the message or on the subject of the song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm, I'm more into feeling. Okay. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm a live guy, not a studio guy. I'm okay. more into uh, getting out something physically, or I'm not more. I'm not mentally into <laughs> too much of that. Okay, well actually. then, then I'll just say it to you, and maybe you can c comment on it. And if you say, well, it's not my c cup of tea, you have to ask someone else. Um, well, obscene. I think. Well, um, mankind focused its sin in the obscure and the obscene. That was a theme behind well, the what? title. Mankind found its zen, yeah. up zen, the zen, in the obscure and the obscene. Yeah. So that's that's well, that's that should be then the the the, the theme of the album. So the up zen is is it's a. Uh, it's kind of. Uh, I mean, the guy sitting on. If you think about the cover, yeah. uh, the guy sitting in his lo lotus positioning. Yeah, is, I mean, that's it's a nice guy, peaceful guy. But still, he's blooded. So it's kind of contradictions between the good and the, the evil, you know. That's basically what it is. And it's to play a word with obzen instead of obscene. It's obzen, you know. The good and the bad, basically. It's so it's just being uh, totally uh, at ease with yourself, obzen. That's maybe the. Obs yeah, but it's the thing we were we wanted to get through is that with the picture and, and the the obzen word is more like a mixture of zen and the obscene, the good and the bad, the good guy sitting there, peaceful guy, but still he's blooded and he's holding his hands in six 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 too. <laughs> so it's more like a so the man mankind is not doing well then. No, it's it's basically about the. The bad stuff that people can do.